Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm uh, Tina. Um, since last video when we write the demo about uh, MVC, which is model two, we had a problem, which is the post can be resubmitted when we refresh the browser, right? Now, uh, for the people who hasn't watched my previous video, so I want to show you the scenario again. And then this video is to tell how to solve the problem, okay? So now let me show you the video, show you the problem again. I forgot which URL. So the problem is here. In our post, okay, we here using four words that are gonna cause our uh, form being resubmitted. Suppose here I type Tina, uh, Tina, Tina at test.com, okay? And when I click sign up, no, no. And the first, take a look at the URL. The URL still slash sign up, slash sign up, which is uh, what? Which is this one. And which is a URL to do post, okay? So remember here, okay? The first thing here is sign up. And we do see the page without any problem. But the problem is not every user use our website is a programmer. So a user may accidentally, which is refresh the page like this, or, or, or press F5. And when they refresh, normally, uh, like for me, uh, I'm a quick temper person. So normally I don't watch, I don't read what they are. Okay, so I just click send. And actually this one I'm doing is, are you sure you want to send a form again? So if I click send, the sign up, the same information will be saved in the database again. Okay, if I click do this one, it will do again. Okay, so that's a problem of post. Okay, in, that's a problem. Sorry, that's a problem of in the post you we do a forward, and uh, uh, now let's go back to our slides to explain more. Okay, this is behavior. Uh, oh, I should using the same way like a post like this, okay. because all other later. Okay, so here let's uh, go here. Just explain again. First, why we need to have a PRG and uh, here is the same issue I explained just now. When a web form, okay, let me using laser point, okay. When a web form is submitted to a server through HTTP post, attempts to refresh the server response can cause the content of the original post to be resubmitted, possibly causing undesired result like a duplic duplicate purchase. Suppose here, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, here, here in user fills out, okay, I hope this can show you, show in the screen, okay. User fills out an order form, like uh, then he click the form to purchase something, right? And when we click the submit button to purchase this uh, order, um, to place this order, the post, okay, the post, we will be uh we are go to our server side the server side will insert the order into the database okay insert the order into the database and it will send our confirmation page like order id thank you for purchasing this one okay thank you and then um uh, then send a confirmation and we'll return back to our uh, client which is browser and the code is 200 success Okay, and in our browser, you will see the page is showing thank you for purchasing your order was placed successfully. But now on this page, the user here, very important. Like just now I showed you, okay, my, this is not very, uh, here. Here, if a user click the refresh, okay, or refresh a page, then it will actually, it's like you click the submit button again. 
resubmit a post request, it will trigger another post request, and it will cause all your information will insert into the database again, and you will also see another uh, success page. That means in the database, you actually purchase the same products again. And if you do refresh again, it's gonna uh, uh, place an order three times. This is not a good, right? So that's a problem of post because post is item potent. It's not, sorry, it's not item potent. It, and again, there are other issues about this post, okay? Because post will have a post body, okay? But uh, for this request, it cannot bookmark. Okay, because when we bookmark, it will only has a URL, but the body part is lost it. And you cannot share the link. Normally, suppose I have some link I wanna share with others, we will just give a URL, right? But uh, the URL, it's a post URL. And the post body is missing, so the post doesn't make any sense. You cannot share that the problem. Uh, you cannot refresh, as we said, because when you refresh, the order will be uh, purchased twice and three times, and as many as you refresh the current page. Okay. Uh, that's all the problem I can think of so far about uh, the 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 post. The especially is this one, refresh. Okay. Now, let me show you how PRG is uh, solve the problem, okay? First, the P stands for post, okay? And G stands, uh, R stands for redirect. And G stands for get. Basically means in the post using redirect. Redirect will cause another get request. And let's take a look at, okay? When we're using PRG pattern, in, instead of returning a page, here, returning here means what? Means a forward. Instead of returning a web page directly, instead of forward to a page, the post will return a redirect, okay? Like in our example, we were using what? This redirect, you're gonna using what? This redirect. In our servlet, you are gonna using response dot send redirect. And here you will pass a URL, okay? The redirect URL, like to someone. And when we're using redirect, redirect, it will cause in the response, okay? It will give a status code, which is 303. 303 means see others, okay? Like, uh, uh, like uh, okay, the page you are requesting is not here, okay? See other, other is what? Other is the URL, which is when we do send redirect here, we will give a nice URL, go to, suppose go to a uh, thank you page, okay? This URL gonna be the URL here, talking about, okay? And when the browser receive 303 and the redirect URL, what are gonna do? Get the response, okay? The response will come with status code and the redirect URL. And when the browser do see this response, it will make a get request, okay? So it will make a new get request to the redirect URL. In our case, redirect URL is uh, thank you. So in this case, it uh, between the browser and the server, it actually has a round trip, two round trip, okay? So now let us see, let's see the diagram in the, on the right. So same, okay, the user fill the all form and click submit. Submit will make a post request. Post request will cause the, all the information about the order to be saved into a database, okay? And now the, in the uh, post, post that method, we will call send redirect. So here it will have 303 uh, send redirect, sometimes it can be other. There are several 300 uh, status code, like a 302, 303, 304. And this 303 uh, redirect, we also will come uh, redirect you, are, suppose in our example is a thank you. Okay? And now, when the browser get the response, what the browser do? Browser will make a new request behind the scene automatically. 
as a user we are not aware of okay here I'll make another request called get okay get is what get which one get this uh, thank you okay get it will goes back to the server and the support server here have a thank you and he will send another response which is a 200 success okay and then the browser will render the thank you page now if i click the refresh button if i click the refresh button here the refresh will refresh this get request as we know get request is a safe methods Okay, it will only retrieve information from the server side. It doesn't change the server side. So when no matter how many times we refresh a page, okay, it won't cause any problem. It won't cause our order to be uh, re uh, uh, what's thing resubmitted. Okay, it only grab information, which is a confirmation page. Okay, so you don't need to worry the order is being placed twice and three times. That is uh, uh, PRG, how, how PRG solve the uh, problem, okay, which when we forward to a page in the uh, where in the post request, okay. Here, since the last request is a get request, browser can uh, safely refresh the server response without cause the initial post request be submitted. Because when we refresh, it's a get request, go to the thank you page. Okay, it's not this post. This post is a police order. This URL and this URL are different now. Okay, so it uh, after that our uh, our page can also be refreshed, can also be bookmarked, can also be shared. Okay, because it's a get request. Okay. Now let me show you the code how actually solve the problem, fix our problem. Okay, discard. I also can. I will also put uh, your put these slides. Uh, you can download this slide from the description. Okay. So this our problem. The problem is here. Don't use it. Okay. Here. Okay. Here. Let me make a. Sorry. Make a comment. Ah. Don't use for word in where. In post request using redirect instead okay and now let me very easy response p dot send redirect but here have something doesn't work the thing is this part because when we're using request and here and we're using send redirect Send a redirect will cause another request, right? So request scope, uh, this request object uh, is not passed to the GSP. So we cannot get a new user. If you need, let's quick fix it, we will get a session. Okay, we are putting in, the, sorry. Oh my God, get a session and to fix that. It's a conversational, so we can get it. And here we will go to uh, sign app.gsp which is this GSP. And if your GSP is under the web inf, you have to create another, uh, another, oh, you can do like this way. Do get, okay, this one is gonna be more clear. And here we will do like this. Okay, uh, here is REQ. And here is REQ. And now you don't need to go to sign up. This one also works. Okay, the let me show. Uh, let me prove this one works. Uh, then we I will show you another one. Okay, we deploy. Okay, and then we go to the browser. This one, and uh, remember here after post previously here is the sign up. Okay. Now it's gonna be changed. Okay, Tina, uh, Tina, Tina at test.com. And when I click sign up, nope. Okay, first let's take a look at here. See here, the UI changed. Now when I refresh, not, it won't cause another, uh, it won't cause resubmission. Okay, because the URL now is a get request. Okay. 
and this is one way. And suppose your sign up GSP is on inside the web inf, then you cannot using a redirect to get right because it's a private pages. So the other way is you create a do get, okay, and you forward to sign up, and here in slash you 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 just uh, redirect to sign up. Okay, and uh, this redirect will make another call, which will go to do get method. Uh, if you, you probably you might you may confused. Okay, here this is a do get. Okay, like this. Okay, now let me redeploy. This is the URL to here. Okay, different. Previously we directly go to GSP. Okay, this one is uh, this URL, but it's uh, by the redirect is a get request, so it will go to do get. Okay, now let me show you. Okay, and I will go to the original, this one, and uh, baby, 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 uh, baby at test dot com. Okay, and I sign up. No, and now when I refresh the page, also didn't have that uh, warning, right? And you will see the URL still is a sign up. The reason this sign up is this one. Sign up, go to do get. See here, our do get method is being called multiple times. And when I refresh, okay, when I refresh here, you will see do get method being called. Okay, how, what should I show? How can I show you? Probably like this way. When I refresh, you will see do get method. Because here we are using redirect. Okay. Personally, I feel I explained uh, clearly now, okay? And uh, for the PRG, let's summarize, okay? PRG means what? In the post, P, okay? Post request, PO, P. R is uh, don't using forward. Instead, use what? Using redirect. P, R, redirect, R, G. When we redirect, browser will make another get request. So here is a G. So it's a P R G pattern. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you understand the PRG pattern and uh, how PRG pattern uh, solve the resubmission problem. Okay, and uh, let me know if you have other questions on this video. Um, bye bye.